Okay, um, in this tutorial we're going to talk about setting up Final Cut Pro's user preferences <clears throat> and system settings. What these do, um, these will affect your system performance um, and a number of other things. So, let's just jump right in. I'm going to go to user preferences under the Final Cut Pro drop down menu. And we may look a little daunting at first, <clears throat> but most of these you're probably not going to change. <clears throat> but we'll just kind of go through it. Um, so in our first general tab, we've got undo levels. So you should know what undo is. If I make a change, I want to undo it. I click Command Z. That's going to undo the change. These are how many of those I have. Um, I usually keep it kind of low, because, I mean, if I want to undo a bunch of stuff, you know, I can go to the restore project or something. Um, real-time audio mixing, I honestly don't know what that does. I haven't really experimented with it, but, um, I don't really have any problems. I don't mix that many channels. I'm probably going to 10, maybe? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> audio playback quality, I just usually leave it on default. Um, I've never had this checked. I don't know what the purpose of this is. So, yeah, just leave it off. It's been fine. I've been using Final Cut for seven, eight years. Um, show tool tips. That is obvious. You know, if I go over a tool, it'll show me that little tooltips and so that's what that is bring all windows to front um, that's kind of obvious it's obvious um, auto save vault that is how often Final Cut's going to save your project I would actually change this to 5 um, 30 is the default but um, if you do 5 then <clears throat> it's going to continuously be saving so you don't if you forget to save and something happens final cut crashes it's right because you've got your project saved um and these are just kind of how many it will save per project and or how many it's going to keep and then the maximum number of, of projects that it does this for <clears throat> so um these are factory defaults i'll leave those off Mm, well, this is important. Auto render. Um, what auto render does, rendering is basically if I'm trying to view a bunch of video effects. Well, my computer's not going to play it in real time, <clears throat> so you have to render. Well, let's say you you want it to render when you're you leave the computer, you know, for 45 minutes. Well, you can set it to render open sequences, so. Anything that's open, <clears throat> that has a red bar up here, meaning it needs to be rendered, it'll render automatically. Um, I usually have this off because I don't want things to render unless I tell it to. And rendering takes a lot of hard drive space, so sometimes it can be bad. It'll fill up your hard drive sometimes, and then you have to go through and delete stuff, so I usually keep that off, but it does come in handy sometimes. Next tab is editing. <clears throat> um, just kind of look through these. These are all basic. I would leave most of these here. Um, yeah, definitely leave that stuff. Um, labely, labels, huh, labely. Yeah, these are kind of self-explanatory. I can <clears throat> label things by right click. Go to label. You can see my labels are right here. If I click on it, you see they're labeled. I can also label video clips audio, anything. Let's go back in here. <clears throat> so that's labels. Timeline options. These are the default timeline options. And you notice down here it says any changes you make are not going to affect timeline sequences already made. Okay, these only affect new sequences you make. <clears throat> so starting time code, you know that shows when your time code is going to start, whenever you make a new se sequence. Um, these are just, you know, things about 
the sequence, you know, default, how many tracks are going to be in it. Um, that's kind of all self-explanatory. Render control. Um, I would just leave all these at default, except this, I would put it on best, <clears throat> unless you want speed over quality. Um, but see, it does it right here. So, yeah. Um, this is just how it's going to render the video. Just Is it going to render it at full frame rate? Is it going to render it at full resolution? I just leave it on 100 because unless you're working with like huge files, if you're working with 2K media and you want to render at 50% 50, 50 resolution just so it's faster and then your final, you can render at 100, whatever. <clears throat> but, um,. I will also note that these also only affect these sequences, so you kind of want to do this beforehand. Audio outputs, um, unless you have a sound card or something, <clears throat> I wouldn't really mess with this. So that's Final Cut's user preferences. Now system settings. Um, this is probably a, this. Well, this is a really important um, thing to look at. So this is basically telling Final Cut where to throw all the media. <clears throat> so whenever I capture video from a tape, where's it gonna put it? Whenever I render video and audio, where's it gonna put it? And right now, since I'm on my laptop, it's just gonna throw it on my hard drive. I've only got one hard drive in here right now. <clears throat> no externals, but. If you haven't, if you're gonna do video, I would recommend getting a, an external hard drive and throwing your video on there, so it can read from the external drive <clears throat> and read any of your graphics or animations from the internal drive. <clears throat> Unless you have a Mac Pro and have four internal drives, whatever. But I would highly recommend getting an external drive and setting Final Cut to throw all your video on the external drive. <clears throat> so you can do that. Right now it says Macintosh HD. That's my internal drive. See, oops. Um, basically everything's going to my internal. But if I had another drive, I can say set, select my external drive, click choose, and I can tell it to throw my rendered videos on it. And it also shows you how much space you have. <clears throat> so you can set up you know, a bunch of drives and tell Final Cut where to throw it all. Um, so that's kind of important if you have multiple drives, but most people don't. Uh, this stuff I would keep right here on defaults. Um, you don't really need to change search folder. Memory and cache, basically telling how much memory Final Cut can use. Um, I usually just set it to 100 because I'm usually just running Final Cut. And Final Cut actually doesn't even use that much memory most of the time unless it's rendering intensive stuff. So I think it'll be okay. Playback. <clears throat> uh, most of this you can leave because I mean, it's not really going to matter unless you want to. Your video is not playing back at full speed and you want it to. Um, you know, you can adjust all this stuff, but I would just leave it. External editors. What those do, let's say I have a clip down here. <clears throat> I want to edit in motion. Remember the motion graphics editor, video editor, whatever. Um, I can right click and say open an editor. What that's going to do is open this clip in whatever I have set on my external editor for video files. Right now I have it set to none because I don't really use that. I can, if I had an image in here, I can set it to, let's say Photoshop, go down my applications, Photoshop, choose. So now if I have a still image in my timeline, I click, <clears throat> I right click and say, use external editor it's going to send that clip, that picture, to Photoshop. So it's kind of a cool shortcut. And my audios are sending the soundtrack. I'm going to go ahead and set my 
video files to open with After Effects. Or you can use Motion, or you could use anything. You could use QuickTime, or open it in QuickTime. I don't know why you do that, but you could. You can do whatever the heck you want. Um, effect Handling, that is only if you have a, let's say you have an H2, H.264 PCI card, or USB drive thingy, speeder upper deal. Um, you can change that to do that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I've never used it because I don't have anything fancy like that. So yeah, that is the Final Cut Pro user preferences and system settings.